Stephanie from History Hustle, and I'm standing on a beautiful viewpoint overlooking Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Lithuanian wars of independence. Exactly. In this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the Lithuanian version, and these were like three separate wars. Before I'm going to dive into that, let's take a look back. Lithuania was part of what you could call the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth all up until the end of the 18th centuries when you had the Polish partitions where Poland was divided between Prussia, Austria and the Russian Empire and with that Poland disappeared from the map and also Lithuania which became part of the Russian Empire. 1914 World War One breaks out, Russia and also Lithuania, which is part of the Russian Empire, fights against Germany. These Germans conquer Lithuania rather quickly and they stay on Lithuanian soil till the end of the war, November 1918. Go back a little bit. The Russian Revolution, the October Revolution of 1917, where the Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin seized power. From that point on, a lot of countries that were attached to this Russian Empire now declare itself independence and Lithuania was one of them. Lithuania declared itself independence February 1918. However, this independence is everything but secure because three wars had to be fought to make this independence happen. The first war was fought against the Bolsheviks that started to reconquer countries that once fell under the Russian Empire. The communists attack in December 1918 and the Lithuanians had to set up an army very quickly. Therefore they were assisted with the Germans because the Germans did not want the Bolsheviks in their country and want to expel them as far away from their borders as possible. Also the Lithuanians were assisted by Polish troops that fought here in Vilnius. In August 1919 most of these Bolsheviks were driven out and in July 1920 the peace treaty of Moscow in which Soviet Russia acknowledged Lithuanian independence. War number two was against the West Russian Volunteer Army. You might remember them from the video in which I spoke about the Latvian War of Independence. Now this army was mobilized by the Germans and they used Russian POWs that they captured during the First World War. Now this army had a, a double agenda. At first they wanted to assist the white Russian movement in their civil war against the Bolsheviks in Russia. Second they wanted to restore German rule in the Baltics. Now this army waged war very rough and they plundered and ransacked many Lithuanian villages. So logically the Lithuanians started fighting them from July 1919 and by December the same year all the soldiers of the West Russian movement were driven out of Lithuania. The third war was fought against the Polish army and now you may think, hey wait a second, did the Poles not liberate Vilnius and its region from the Bolsheviks and that is right. However, after that the Poles were hoping for cooperation with the Lithuanians, more like a restoration of what was used to be the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. However, the Lithuanians wanted full independence and this led to a military conflict in September 1920 fighting lasted a month after which a peace treaty was signed. However, against the will of the Lithuanians, Vilnius and its surrounding region remained part of the Polish Republic. Up until 1938 there were no diplomatic relations between two countries. Interesting enough, Polish history writers see this conflict as part of the Polish-Soviet war. But that conflict I'm going to talk in another video. As of now, like if you found this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until next time.